Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to present you the preliminary bouts. Ladies, clash in Brivita in the weight of 65 kilos. The referee in the ring is Mikhaila Kovacheva from Slovakia. I would like to invite Veronica Smarova to the red corner of the ring. We are back and we are with our next fight, first fight of our next preliminary round. We got three fights coming up before our next break. And this one is the female fighters. We got Veronica Smarova from Slovakia against Teodora Manik. Veronica is 21 years old, 178 centimeters. Four fights, two wins, none by knockout, two losses. So a very young fighter up and coming. We'll see how she performs against Teodora Manik from Serbia. 22 years old, 172 centimeters, 45 fights, 40 wins, 15 by knockout, and five losses. Now, while we have a chance, we're waiting for the fighters. Let's go over the rules. It is a three knockdown rule in effect. Please welcome. It is a three judge. Three-judge scoring panel, 10 points to the winner, nine or less to the loser of the round. It's three rounds by three minutes. There's a possibility of a fourth round. No twisting or throwing. And of course, if you clinch, you can throw one fist or you can throw one knee. I'm going to invite to the blue corner. Teodora Manic. Here comes Teodora. Let's give a shout out to our sponsors, Rebuy Stars, who's hosting this event. It's the largest casino house in Eastern Europe, and it's absolutely beautiful. And we're in Pravica, Slovakia, and one of their casino houses, and it's just an amazing little venue, an amazing city. Uh, Green Hill, who's giving us, we're using all of their equipment in this fight, three ducks, and of course W5 Video. You can find out, see more at w5kick.tv. You can go to their main website, w5kick.com. They're also on Apple TV and iOS and Android devices, so you can follow us. Of course, you can go on our Facebook page as well. Just search for W5 and click the likes. In this fight, we'll have Michelle Kavachova will be the referee in the ring. Welcome, Teatora Manich. This is a 65 kilogram fight. Good Alegna Vision for the uh, official Ladies introduction. And gentlemen, uh, introducing the women in the red corner. 21 years old, 178 centimeters. Her professional record is four fights, two wins, and two defeats. The representative of Slovakia, Veronica Tmarova. Introducing the woman in the blue corner, 22 years old, 172 centimeters. Her professional record is 45 fights, 40 wins, 15 victories by an account, and only five defeats. The representative of Serbia, Teodora!
the official introductions out of the way. The fighters are going to meet in the center of the ring. Judges will be asked if they're ready, and we will be on our way for the next three bouts. The first two were, well, the first one was a great fight. The second one, as you know, ended very early and not even on a hard punch, just a, a punch that landed perfectly. The next three fights should be good. The fighters are evenly matched. The first round. Both fighters right now just eyeing each other up. Both throwing a quick jab, both landing that jab. Crisp punches so far from Theodore. Nice crisp punches. Good technique. Both fighters very weary of each other right now. They're obviously not going to be able to do this for three rounds. Oh, nice right by Theodora. Veronica came in there. But Veronica countered. Veronica came in to land a big punch, but Theodora landed one first. Both fighters very locked in right now on each other. Nice quick combination by Theodora. Nice leg kick, low kick, not a knockdown. Veronica has a slight height advantage. Teodoro's probably going to keep doing more of those straight leg kicks, keep Veronica at a distance. Veronica starts landing those jabs. It'll turn out bad. A good low kick by Veronica. Very cautious first round, one minute to go. Veronica want to use, use that jab. Keep Teodora at distance. She's got the height advantage, she's got the reach. You can see it right now. Nice right leg to the midsection. Both fighters exchanging leg kicks right there. Teodoro going to the body. Both fighters, when they are throwing, are doing a nice job of mixing up their kicks and their punches. It definitely helps in the later rounds. Oh, nice right jab by Teodoro. Veronica shakes it off. Just thinking that one didn't bother me. I felt it, but I've been hit worse. Both fighters clinch, exchange knees. That's the end of the first round. Not a lot of excitement. I'm going to have to give that one a tie. I don't think any fighter dominated that round. I'm going to go uh, tie on that one. That's a draw. Somebody's going to come out and be the aggressor, hopefully, here in the next round. Some, you'll see this a lot of times in the first round where fighters will eye each other up, look for some kind of signs. They won't throw too much. They're just looking for some kind of signals that they can pick up on to know what their fighter's going to throw so they don't get that unexpected hit. See how their heads move. That way they can try and time a punch. We saw that, a very good example of that was when Nagimbi fought uh, Ilya Ustachov. And Ustachov, every time he threw that right, that right jab, or right hook, he brought his head down. Nagimbi timed, timed it perfectly with his knee and just knocked Ustachov out. The fighters like to eye each other up. We'll see if anybody now changes their tactic and comes out as more aggressive. We've seen this a lot in fights, even though you have three rounds. Unfortunately, with a three-round fight, you risk giving up a round, and you don't want to give up that first round because then you're always you're fighting back and you only have two rounds to do it. That's a big hole to climb out of. Second round on the way. Oh, nice right by Veronica. Combination. Tia Dora using those legs right now. Use that big leg, come in with the combination. Tia Dora definitely following the more Thai style, Dutch style. Use those legs, wear out your opponent. The defense comes down. Oh, nice combination by Tia Dora. 
So far, she's looking like the aggressor and the stronger fighter right now. Both fighters exchanging punches right there. Good combination by Teodora again. They're landing. Veronica going there with that right leg kick to the midsection. Two technically sound fighters so far here in the first and second round. Not a lot of excitement. See the ref telling Teodora one knee. Another combination by Teodora. Landing not so squarely, not so hard, but they are landing. At least on the point scale. Oh, nice right by Veronica. That one Teodora felt. Veronica landing a nice square right there. You can hear the corner of Teodora. They're telling an attack. As soon as they yell it, she's just jumping in there. She's got to get inside. Veronica has that reach. Teodora doesn't get inside. Her reach doesn't have much power on it. Trainer telling Teodora to box. I'm sitting right next to the blue corner so I can hear everything the trainer's saying, and I just hear the word box. They're taking a point away. So she lost the point, she was warned one knee. She gave two, and the point has been taken away. That is one strict referee. Unfortunately, that could, in the way this fight is going, could be the decisive factor in winning, because now, really, the first round was a tie, but Teodora actually just handed that round to Veronica. She's still throwing those legs, and she's landing in the midsection, but Veronica's taking them right now. A much more exciting last 30 seconds. Teodora knows that she's got to be the aggressor now. She knows she just handed that round to her. Should turn into a much more exciting third round here. Oh, nice combination by Veronica. Another combination by Veronica. They landed. Teodora not phased by it, but she felt it. Oh, big left by Veronica. That one caught Teodora off guard. That's the unexpected shot that you try to avoid. When your brain isn't ready for it, you don't see it coming, it can put you down. Good. A good second round here. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a special treat for you. I have the president and owner of W5, Sergei Chepanoga. Welcome, Sergei. Uh, hello, everyone. How are you doing? Yes, I'm, I'm good, especially in W5. Oh, the show is amazing, like always. And the fighters, the lineup is even uh, is really amazing. All, all the people who are here, they're making a really great job, including you. Thank Daniel. you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Tell me, what do you think about the fight so far? It was a disappointing second fight. You know, I never disappoint. It's, it's, it's another game. Then I started to work with the fighters. I'm always started to, to feel they are as a part of family. And one, sometimes if one will be the winner, another will be the loser, it's also the different feeling. I never disappoint. I just want to do uh, the best for them. It's all everything in the ring. It's up from them. Yeah, yeah. And you do a really good job. I mean, the fights are always great. I just feel bad for... Uh, I just feel bad for Milan in the second fight. It was just a, 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 a strange shot that caught him right in the, the eye. Yeah. Ended it very early, not even on a hard punch. But but you know what what was there? It 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 was the really big decision. It it was really fast because it, we got uh, two consolations and the both fighters was um, like a I don't know like a fast replacement. Yeah. So. Uh, what, what are you expecting for the rest of the night tonight? A lot of good fights, yeah? Yes, it's uh, all fight cards. All fight cards is with uh, really competitive fighters. And uh, and I I think I'm not able to say who will be the winner, who will be the loser. That's the, they, they both have a chance, everyone. 
now you see what is going on in the ring. We have ladies clash, and now it's <laughs> you see, I didn't see uh, the difference between the male and female fights. Oh, there was a big right by Teodora. She just caught Veronica with a big right hook, and now yeah. she's throwing those combinations of flurry. She's got Veronica in the corner. Veronica's worried. I think Veronica yeah. could be going down right now. She's holding on. This could be what Theodore needed yeah, at, you know, this last round. She lost a point, and she needs a big round here. Yeah. And they're giving a standing eight count. That just puts Theodore right back in the fight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a very exciting little flurry by Theodora. You know, I'm really excited about looking at the last two fights tonight. I mean, besides the rest of them, I think Vlad's going to have a really strong opponent tonight. It should be a really exciting battle. I love watching Vlad yeah, tune for up. Sure, for and, sure. uh, of course, we got Daryl Sickman, who's uh, an amazing fighter out of the Netherlands. Uh, Daryl? He has a bad luck maybe last year, but now he's back again, more stronger, and really focus on his next improvement. Now we see how he's working Serbian school. They're really the great. Yeah. It, it. Your daughter right now controlling this third round very well controlling this third round very well right now she's did got veronica on the ropes did you see the um what was the different Tha thailand school uh from serbian school against serbian school it, it was a big fight really and uh, it's so different uh, experience for the both yeah but you see how uh, really advanced Serbian school. Now again, Slo Slovakian school against uh, Serbian school. But what I would like to say, how uh, how much is progress uh, in in Serbian school? They are really doing big job. Yeah. All their fighters, it's a guarantee for the quality. If you invite in Serbian fighters, for sure you will get a really big fight. You know, it's uh, I was talking to some of the some of the Dutch performers, and we were talking about differences between, for example. Dutch style of kickboxing versus an Eastern European style, which is uh, traditionally a lot more boxing in Eastern Europe. They control, they, they, they love to go to the boxing more to the kickboxing. And we actually saw this uh, a little bit in the third round with, uh, with Nikola. He yeah. boxed a lot more in the third round, but in the first round, he definitely was mixing up his kicks and his punches and more the Thai style. Whereas you saw uh, Pia Pong, he was only using the leg in the first yeah, round. Yeah. A lot it's of a leg, lot of leg. It's a typical style from Thailand fighters, yes. It's typical yeah. style. A very good, actually, first fight. Nicola surprised me a little bit. But I, I think Nicola was ready for the knee. That is why, yes, sometimes knees are really dangerous uh, tools. And, yeah. But Nicola was ready. He did a great job, that first fight. It was a really good way to open up W5's tournament. Why don't you... Why don't you and Humbling Houses Revised Stars, Adam Sikorchin, Operations Manager. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is by a unanimous decision. Come on, come on. Woman in 